Barbecue family on YouTube. We're ready to roll. And on Instagram, hey, Barbecue family. Hi, everybody. It's Friday. 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 Okay, this yes, is a real it's song. It's Friday, not Tuesday. No. Time. It is officially Friday. We are so happy that you guys are tuning in and watching from wherever you are. Let us know in the comments, where are you watching from? I know it's always nice to see what time of day it is, where people are at. Is it morning? Is it night? Are they eating their dinner? Well, I don't know. Okay, so we have the original black dog, Aaron, tuning in. Aaron, I feel like Aaron, I think Aaron's Ontario. Yes, yep, yeah, Aaron's local. Okay, so we know where Aaron is. Chantel's tuning in. Hi, I don't Chantel. know where Chantel's tuning in actually from. Um, let us know. Yes, Chantel, Chantel, let us know. Oh, Hargau is saying NYC. I, I didn't know that. Say, I thought Chantel was NYC, but I could be wrong. Chantel, let us know. Okay, I can barely, where the camera, can you see over that? It's okay, let it just rise up. Okay. We're cool. Can you see though? I can see, yeah. Okay. Hi, barbecue tourist. It's noon and cold in Omaha. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know barbecue tourist, that's where he lives. That is so cool, I didn't know that too. Very Nebraska awesome. always reminds me of Aunt Becky from Full House, that's where she's me from. Too. Me that's too, me too. That's always what it reminds me of. Okay, she tells that <laughs> she's tuning in from New York. You were right. Yes, I, I got it. I don't know you knew that, but I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Wes is saying, hey guys, and I don't know, Wes, where are you tuning in from? We got Tennis Tennessee Coon. Oh, House. actually, yeah, that's Wes. I, I think I think we can see that's Tennessee. Makes sense if you'd be in Tennessee then, yeah. <laughs> okay, so guys, thank you for tuning in. Oh, Skog gets on, our barbecue brother from Texas. Hi, Skog. Skog, thank you for tuning in, and karate, karate videos and more is tuning in. Thank you guys for being here. We're making pork souvlaki today. I thought that was a good Friday night beat. Yes, this is going to be so delicious. We've got a lot of delicious flavors going on, so let's get right into this. And then we're going to head out like we always do afterwards because it is too cold for our equipment to be outside right now. But we are going to head out afterwards and hit these on the grill, and you guys can see what they look like a little bit later on. I can't wait to head out there and hit the grill, but Kathy is tuning in, and usually she tunes in. She sneaks watching us at work, but she's not at work today. Hi, so Kathy. Kathy, it's amazing. She has the day off. That's awesome. Kathy, it's so nice that you're joining us. Okay, oh, okay, I'm going to start diving in. I'm going to, I'm on meat duty. Yeah. He's on rub slash marinade. I don't know. It's a rub marinade combination, basically. Yes, yes, it is. And we're also going to be doing some tofu that I can enjoy later on as part of this. Because basically the same flavor. It's going to be the exact same flavors, but just on some tofu every week. People are like, oh, Kiki doesn't get to eat the meat because it looks so good. But we always do, like, whatever we make marinade-wise and just do it either on tofu or beans after. Yes. And, and you know who is a new tofu fan? Who? Captain Ron, who's tuning in. Captain Ron, thank you for watching. Captain Ron He's in the house. Hi, girls. And you know who got Captain Ron on tofu? Who? I think you can guess. Who? Shannon. I believe that. Our tofu sister. She's our to I'm going to call her that now. Okay, but guys, if you're one of those people that are out there watching right now being like, I don't know about tofu, Give you will try. Yeah, you will be converted. I yeah. promise you guys. Okay, so anybody just tuning in, we are getting started. I'm on meat duty, so what I'm about to do is start cutting up these beautiful pork tenderloins, courtesy of our friends at Helenda's. Those are big. So, And then we're going to be skewering them. So sometimes I think people might be a little bit intimidated maybe by pork souvlaki. Because yeah. it's like, it's something that you maybe get at a restaurant, but the barbecue family knows it's one of the most simple things to make. Absolutely. So honey, while you get chopping, you get, you get I'm putting those on just some cubes here, and I'm going to get going on our rub slash marinade. Okay, Nicole also saying tofu is awesome. Okay, thank you, Nicole. Yes, it is. Nicole knows what's up. Tofu is fantastic. Yeah. It's definitely one of those things that it takes on any flavor that you put with it. So it's kind of like mushrooms or like yes. chicken breast. Like a lot of people are like, oh, what is it going to be like? But it has a very neutral flavor. Yeah, nobody can tell us that chicken breast has a flavor. It's yeah. a very mild flavor. So you got free range have... chickens do more than store bought chickens Light, to be fair. But still it's lightly. Yes, lightly. yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay, so here we go with the marinade. So I'm not going to start off with what I just had. That's kind of like our secret. We're going to yes. go into that um, later. Okay, Rhonda's tuning in this time on Instagram. Hi, Rhonda. Oh, and Steph, too. We Hi, Rhonda and Steph. Steph is like the queen of meat on a stick. And we got Bama Bees on YouTube. So Hi, nice to Hi, see Ethan. you. Hi, how are you? Okay, so sorry, before before I go on, because all I'm doing, you're, you get the fun part this time. I'm nice. basically just chopping up pork tenderloins. <laughs> but the key, anybody who has not made pork, or pork souvlaki before, the key to making that is to making sure the meat is all the same size because then it will cook at the same time. You don't want like little bits of meat and then huge chunks of meat or else 
obviously the little bits will cook quicker and the, the huge chunks will be raw on the inside. Good point. Honey. All right. Hit us with your marinade. And now. I like a lot of surface area too, so you don't want to go huge chunks here yeah. either. Okay. So the first thing's going in, every great souvlaki, you got to have a lot of oregano. Yes. And this is, this is obviously like a Greek inspired one. Yes. We're going to be serving this a little bit later with some rice, some pitas, some Greek salad, some tzatziki, or what we like to call it tea tzatziki. Yeah, okay, Pickles is in here. Hello, Pickles. Okay, hi, Pickles. So we're going in with some rosemary we've got in there, some sumac. And for those of you who aren't familiar with sumac or using it, we love it for a dish like this because it's got sort of like a floralness to it that really, really goes great with pork and it really goes great with other Greek flavors. Yeah. It provides a little bit of color too, which is nice. Okay, first of all, I've been wanting to say this every time we've been, we've been going live lately. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mom is tuning in. Mom always tunes in from YouTube, but I have to say shout out to our mom who basically is our meat delivery girl. Okay, yes. so mom goes and gets, Hi, mom. she goes and picks up all of this meat for us at Helenda's for us. We wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for mom. We get, our days get so busy. You guys know that we do this full time. If it wasn't for mom, I don't know when we'd be able to get there. I We wouldn't. That's why we've had to enlist the help of mom. So honey, that's a very good point. Yeah. Shout out to mom for getting these delicious I've meals. been trying to say that every, every week and I just keep forgetting. Thank you, Mom, for picking up the pork today. Yes. <laughs> okay. And, and every week. <laughs> Burly Boy Barbecue joining us on Instagram. So nice to see you. We've We're got... actually going to be talking to Burly Boy tomorrow. So if anybody, I think that's going to be live. Yes. you got to let us know, Burly, because if, if it is live, we want the barbecue family heading over there so they can tune into that. And we've got Brian on YouTube joining us. So nice to see you. Just a girl in her kitchen says it's so it's moms are the best. Yes, that's so true. They are. And Brian actually, okay, Brian has come prepared to this live. He actually Googled souvlaki to see what he was getting into when he was tuning into this live. Okay, that's extensive. That's Brian. my kind of guy. That is my kind of guy. <laughs> Round of applause for Brian. Good job, Brian. We hope that you're interested in these flavors because they're definitely some of our favorites. Yeah. So the next thing we're gonna add is some celery salt. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of a different one there. Yeah, and that we want to add some, some celery salts for just some other layers of flavor here. We're yes. going to still add some regular salt because celery salt is salty, but we still want regular salt for, again, different layers of flavor here. We're going to add some black pepper. Okay, Luke at Reef Kitchen just tuned in. Luke, thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a nice Friday so far. Barbecue Tourist says, Bunch of barbecue all-stars on here. That's what I'm talking about. I love this community so much. Guys. I love this community so much. You never know who's going to tune into a live. Okay. You really don't. I love it. And the last of the dry ingredients we're going to put in is some dried mint. So for a soup, that one is absolutely mandatory. A hundred percent mandatory. These, well, I, I think these all are mandatory. Yeah. So we're just going to stir this up a little bit. And the mint is what really takes this to the next level, guys. If you leave it out, you will totally <laughs> notice. One. Okay. That is a very good point. It's so mandatory. Kathy is like, is, is Kathy and her husband are watching. Her husband's watching over on YouTube and Kathy switched over to Insta. <laughs> I, I love that. It's so nice to see you guys on both of them. Cormac, we've got Cormac. Is it around, it's around dinner time, I think he said, in the UK right now. I wonder if he's watching with his dad. And if anybody tuned in last week, his dad actually said, his 91 year old dad, said that we're more, I think we're more crazy than a, than a bag of spanners. Or yeah, what, what was the saying? I remember it was something like that. I could have just butchered it, but he said it was a compliment. So we're going to take it. sounds like it. <laughs> we're going to take it as a compliment. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to switch this dry rub into more of a wet marinade. So we've just added in some oil. And in the meantime, guys, we're going to continue on. But you know how every week while we cook, we like to sort of rehash the week Talk about how our week went. And Maddie and I always like to do a rundown on things that we are grateful for. Yeah, so we shared this on Tuesday. Lately, what we've been doing after, at the end of our work day, every single day, we like to say, I like to say three things that I'm grateful for. And Kiki says three things that she's grateful for. And we just started it. It's kind of, I guess, I don't want to say it's like a New Year's resolution, but we've been starting it since this year. Yeah. And we've noticed that it's, a, it's a great way to end the day because you end off on a high note. And B, it just puts you in such a good, grateful vibe. Yes. So that's why we just, we wanted to bring this to the barbecue family because like we, we said before too, everybody needs some more happy vibes, some more positive vibes. 
And sometimes it's nice to have that reminder to, to think about what are you grateful for exactly? Totally, guys. So, honey, I'm very curious about yours this week. Even though, so Maddie and I spend 90% of our week together, but we never tell each other what ours are because I legitimately want to hear it when we're on. Yes, and that's what that's the fun of this, too. Okay, Michelle's just tuning in. She's saying, hey, girls, hey. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I wonder, Michelle said last time she watched this while she was doing dishes. I was very, I loved that. I really love multitasking. Yes. I really like it too. Exactly. So hey, anyway, wait. before you tell me the I, what I just it's added, smelling so pungent. I know. As soon as you start zesting a lemon, it's like instantly I'm transported to Greece right now. Yes, and it's it's people always just maybe use the juice. Why not use the zest? It's you know like, what? It's lemon on on like times ten. You've paid for the whole lemon. Don't put that in the garbage. Yeah, guys, you're yeah. just wasting so much flavor. Um, so I also, so I'm starting to zest some lemons. We're going to put the zest of two lemons and the juice. And we've also added in some red wine vinegar. So honey, hit it, hit me with it. Okay. So like, I would like to preface this by saying we don't say this every day at the end of our day. So we'll sit like, obviously we're grateful for each other. We're grateful for our family. So those go without saying where we are grateful for those. Yeah. Okay. So okay. this is this because, and I'm saying that because this one's kind of a weird one, oh, but I was thinking go. about it yesterday. What is it? Is it, are you going to hit me with the slippers again? Last week it was slippers, No, but guys. ever, okay, that was two days ago. One. Was that two days ago? It was Tuesday. <laughs> it wasn't last week. Holy COVID, we've been in the house for way too long. Yeah, it's all just a, just a big run on Groundhog Day type situation. Wait, who do we got here? Kettle Q just joined. Char Grillin, what's going on? So nice to have you on here. Okay, and Karen's saying, okay, she's saying hello to, um, okay, Rhonda's also tuning in on YouTube. I love that people are switching it up. They're going to both platforms. Me too, okay, hey, okay so, lay it on me. So what I'm grateful for, I discovered this yesterday, and this is gonna sound weird, but I was watching TV, watching a move, or no, watching a new show, Yeah. and I was sitting down on the couch, and I realized that, that, that the clicker AKA the television remote. People call them different things. Yeah. So I call it the clicker. Yeah. You, you call it the clicker. clicker. Was nowhere to be seen. Okay. In the show, I was ready to turn it off and I didn't know where the clicker was. And I was like, you know what I'm grateful for? Clickers. That is a good one. Cause I didn't know where it was. And it's like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, how do you turn off the TV without the clicker? How do you turn it to something else? So I was like, that's a weird one, but I'm grateful for that because then it just, it just makes your TV viewing experience so much better. You don't have to get up. Yeah. And you know what? Which now I realize sounds, makes me sound totally lazy. But... No, but now you're right. I don't even know what the buttons are on a TV. Like, are I they on the think, side? Are they on the front? I don't think there are any. I don't. <laughs> okay. So I've just said, honey, very great thing to be grateful for. Yeah. People are laughing at the term, the clicker. What do okay. you guys call it? You're laughing at us, you Americans. What do you guys call it? I'm, I'm very curious now. Okay, um, Kara's tuning on. She said, hey, ladies. Hi, Kara. Kara, thank you for tuning in. We're talking about what we're grateful for. I just said I'm grateful for the clicker, a.k.a. the television remote, because I lost mine yesterday, and I didn't know what to do. Okay. You know, I, I know a lot of people call it a converter, which I oh, don't Oh, yeah, that, no, that is a, I was like, or I was a clicker. Gonna, no, that's, that's like the signal, like you're the clicking. clicker signal. No. I thought people call your flicker your blinker. No, people call a clicker a flicker because you're flicking through the channel. I don't, I've never heard that. I think you're making it up. No, you're, don't do that to people. I think you're making it Guys, up. <laughs> no, I'm not making it up. Okay, I'm great. Okay, so Fogo Charcoal, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, guys. I'm grateful for when I find the clicker. That's that, a good Okay, one. I should have changed mine. Yeah. Because it's not, I'm not grateful for losing it. <laughs> I'm grateful for the fact that I have it and that, yeah, that when you do find it, it's a magnificent feeling. Eat it with is. me, um, XYZ says we call it the clicker in Washington. Okay? Yeah. So people do. It's not just you, honey. Thank you, Eat with me. I really appreciate that. All right, guys. So I'm going in with the, the juice of all of the, now, you know what's weird? These don't have any seeds I'm noticing. So we have a little strainer here, but that's odd. There, I know sometimes it's, it's unnecessary. Sometimes you don't eat that. Man Kitchen Recipes on YouTube is saying there's an app for that. There's an app to change your channel. Okay, that's Kevin. And Kevin, are you driving right now? Because Kevin usually says he watches when he's driving, but Kevin. he does it safely. Okay. But that's what, because this time slot, he's he's out and about. I think he's at work, he's doing stuff. Is he? Okay, well, thank you for joining us, Kevin. Yes. Now, can I please share one of mine? Okay, yeah. Okay, we're moving on. Some people are still laughing at the clicker thing. Okay. So Some people have my back on it. I'm not going to know yours. Okay, so my two of mine are hand in hand this week. Okay. So, guys, as many of you know, um, I, I was 
I came out of my, my condition is out of remission and I had a flare up recently. So I'm back on medication. This last week, my medication was reduced. Okay. Oh my God. That is such a good one to be great. So I was on a very high dose to sort of knock my condition back down into remission. Okay. Let everybody know what the high dose is doing to you right now. I, I, that's what I'm leading okay. into my number two that I'm grateful for. Okay. So I was on a very, very high dose. And for anybody who's taking a, a medication called prednisone, it's very common for a lot of different conditions. It has a ton of different side effects. It keeps you up all night. It makes you starving. It makes you feel a little bit like revved up, like your heart, you can't calm down. Because it's like, it's like a steroid. Yes. Hang on, I just got to throw these away. Okay. Um, so I was on a very, very high dose. And recently, so just this last week, um, my doctor said I could lower it. So I was extremely, extremely grateful for that. So that, that is a huge one. I'm grateful for it too, because... I hate when you don't sleep. Uh, oh God, I hate guys. When you don't sleep. It's such a bad feeling. So I'm so grateful to have that reduced. And that leads me into my number two thing that I'm grateful for. Soy milk chocolate pudding. Okay? <laughs> because I, since, since <laughs> we're going prednisone to chocolate pudding. Because <laughs> since I have been so starving all the time, I have been hitting pudding and I've been hitting it hard, everybody. Why not with me? I haven't had any chocolate pudding. <laughs> Excuse me, do you save that for when you leave? <laughs> I've had to buy these things by the case lately, guys. It's so good. And yet, okay, so I'm getting them by and you don't want to share them for some reason. Because <laughs> I want them all to myself. <laughs> so I'm very, very grateful for that. That's one of the things, pre-made pudding, so I don't have to make yeah, it myself. Yeah, pre-made things. And yes. I can enjoy it at the ready. Okay, so guys, our pork. I love that one. That is hilarious. I would like to try that today. I'm not, I'm not in the garlic yet. I'm just going to put this in and we'll all mix it in all together. So okay. our pork is ready to go. We went with pieces that are this size because, again, we want we don't want these to be on the grill for hours on end. This is going to be a hot and fast type of cook on the grill. So that's why we went with that size pieces. And I have to say, you guys can't smell what's happening right now in this marinade bowl, but it smells magnificent. It does smell fantastic. And I just have to say, there's a lot of people commenting now about the medication thing. Eat With Me is saying that she is a lupus warrior. Very similar to yours. Extremely similar. So Eat With Me, she is. She has to take prednisone too. So, okay, you are with me then, girl. You know she what knows, I'm talking about. She knows about the... Um, about try some the soy milk. Try some soy pudding. Because you... Okay, prednisone Kiki will share the pudding. <laughs> because prednisone really makes you want sweets. And, oh, my God, that has been such a lifesaver, guys, for, the, for me this week. Okay, so Scott is tuning in. Bartlow's Barbecue. He said, funny story. With two young daughters, somehow it always was missing. I bought three new ones just to make sure it's always available. The clicker? But, re but recently we couldn't find any of them. Isn't that so crazy sometimes, guys? Yeah, like he, he planned for this scenario, the fact that it goes missing. He tripled the amount that he has, and it, it still has gone missing. Wow. That is That's hilarious. kids for you. Yeah. That no one knows where kids are putting those things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just smashed some garlic. We're adding in one, two, three, four... Five, six cloves. You can really add as much or as little as you want to this. We like it garlicky, guys. We're Italian, in case you didn't already know that. <laughs> okay, sorry. Cormac just said dad. Okay, so I think in, in the UK they say dad, which is so cool. Like about dad? Yes. Okay, Just gotcha. came in for dinner and he says, is that those girls again? And coincidentally, I'm giving him stuffed pork steak. How is that? That is a huge coincidence. That's Yay! Crazy. That is so awesome. This one's for you, Dad. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do like a rough chop on these. Yeah. We don't need to get them super fine. I'm just going to run the knife through them a little bit just to break these down. Looking good, honey. Okay, get them in. Then I'm going to start mixing them up. And then we can start putting them onto the skewers. And I am very excited for these new skewers that we have. Okay, these are pretty massive. Yes. And anybody who hasn't used um, metal skewers before and that have typically used the wood ones, I don't know about you guys, but whether you soak them, whether you don't soak them, I'm they not getting always that. end up burning. Okay, so yeah, I should have washed up. Hang on. Okay. I'm excited to try these on grill. These are burn lips, okay? I'm very excited to try that. So I'm gonna get in there and start mixing this up. Yeah, and what I love about those skewers too is what's great about these flat skewers is they don't, so a skewer typically is perfectly round. But if it is round, once the meat starts to cook, it gets very wet. And if you turn them, the meat sort of stays the same and it won't actually flip exactly. over. Since these are flat, 
the meat gets on there and it actually does it it holds on that's actually the huge feature of those and I then you, you flip that. you're able to actually flip it over because it is flat can you guys see that oh. okay you're not holding that at all that how right? can people see is that, that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> sorry so guys I don't, I don't know which angle to try and explain that but it's yeah small it's, town smokers on so i barbecue man okay barbecue man okay here honey can you okay. take that for yeah, a second sorry. i'm just trying to like mix this all up and try not to i don't want to keep washing my hands so i'm just going to get going with this yeah so kathy says she's been looking at these and wants them we are very you gotta be careful with those. we are very like kathy said <laughs> I'm like honey we're very pleased with these and that is smelling incredible yeah okay, can i just say that it is smelling wow. incredible okay are you going to help me with skewering do you want me to yes okay, let's, let's both get in there i guess i'm helping with skewering everybody yes okay so get in there too we're going to start to skewer Barbecue man saying, how are you, my friends? Barbecue man, we're doing great. It's yes. Friday. Okay, also uh, automatically loving this. I'm, I really love we're these. We're trying these skewers for the first time with you guys, with, with the barbecue family. And I'm already, I can already tell I'm a fan of these. And you know what? I'm on the tone of things that we're grateful for. I don't know about you guys, but I'm grateful for the sun being out right now. When yes. the sun is not out, I feel like it really just is so hard to like get the, like the motivation to just keep it moving on a day. Like agreed when it's this cool though. karate videos is saying his pvc skewers are flat so he knows what we're talking about it's all about the flat even though this is our first time using this okay see matt cooks just joined in i have a feeling he would also agree with this okay about yep. the flat skewers i love a flat skewer just for that reason see matt you're cooks? not going down enough you're going to okay, utilize the true. whole skewer. So this is going to be a gigantic skewer of meat. Scoggin is saying that he has metal ones and you have to use gloves because they do get very hot. Very, yeah, okay. very good point. Great tip. Our barbecue brother Scoggin. Yeah, <laughs> you do not want to, once these hit the hot grill, you don't want to be touching these with bare hands. No. That is for sure. Okay, so guys, we want to know. Okay, yeah, he, he needs, see Matt Cooks is saying he needs some more sun in New England. Oh. See Matt Cooks, I didn't, okay, see, so he must have the accent. Yeah, he the really New England accent. We are huge fans of that. I <laughs> love that one. That's a potty in the yad one, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> that's such a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really one of my, my favorites. I got to be honest. Okay, these are really long skewers. I'm gonna go that way. Yeah, we call them that way. Okay. okay, so guys, we are talk. We are making pork souffle. Anyone just joining? We're making pork souffle. We're gonna be heading out Check to the grill. Out. Looks fantastic. And Oops. we are talking about what we are grateful for okay so some of these we're saying we're grateful for our family we're grateful for each other but we're also talking about some other things that that we're grateful for yeah and based on how this week has gone every week we like to it's the end of the week before we head into the weekend we like to do a little bit of a wrap up on how the week's stop touching my hand yeah okay no we're not doing that okay <laughs> this smells so good yeah this is a really great marinade yeah okay so another thing i'm gonna share another another one okay Rhonda is saying i have metal ones but round and they do turn okay yes that's Ooh. that's that's what that's one that I, I was really excited about this because look at nothing is going yeah i home. really that's that's one that's a sometimes with skewers that's why i don't even bother because i can't even handle it when they don't turn i get so mad yeah okay um <clears throat> Oh, see, Matt Cooks is saying no, no accent. He's a transplanted Cali boy. Oh. Okay, so he doesn't have the accent. Do they have an accent in California? You know what? I feel like they still would to us. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go very stereotypical on that. Uh -oh. I'm picturing the surfer. That's not an accent, but I'm thinking of the surfer kind of vibe. Why? Just because he's from Cali? Yeah. Oh. I know. That's very So all he eats is avocado and like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Let us know. Do you have that kind of accent? Because I was, I would, now I'm curious. Okay. So guys, we're talking about what we're grateful for. This is another one I was thinking of yesterday. And this, I'm sure there's going to be people agreeing on this. Okay. Go with me on this one, guys. Scented candles. Well, that's a good one. Yes. Okay. So not, not just regular candles. We're talking scented candles. Uh, nothing makes me feel happier than getting a scented candle order in the mail. Mm -hmm. So I order usually them like five at a time or 10 at a time and smelling them when you like them. That is a good one. Okay. Especially over the winter when it's like yes. you're inside all the time. Yes. Yeah, so I got one that is called French baguette. Oh and, yes. Okay. That one is magnificent. It's so good, except it does make you hungry for baguettes. <laughs> so that's the only thing. If you light it in the evening, 
Yesterday I had it going around like 8 p.m. and I was like, I, now I'm craving baguette. I wonder how they got that to smell like baguette. I don't know, but it smells like like a sweet baguette. It smell, it's it's wonderful, and I was so happy. It put me in such a happy mood, such a grateful mood. Really good one, really good choice. I know, so. I know these. I know some of these are weird, but no, I like it. What I no, feel grateful for. You got you guys, and that, and you know what? It doesn't matter what it is, as long as you're feeling grateful. That's the most important thing. Now, um, in the kitchen with Karen says that in Cali, they do have a slight accent. So now I want to know what it is. Okay, Karen, I would love to hear it. I would love, we're going we to gonna head over to Karen's channel so we can hear what her accent sounds like. C-Mac said totally tubular dudes. Do yeah, you say that, C-Mac? That's what I, that's what I meant. That's what I mean by like the surfer lingo. Don't touch me with that. <laughs> it's not the meat, or did I get you? I think you are. <laughs> okay, we have smoke and glaze. He's saying hello from Texas. Hello, smoke and, smoke and Glaze. We're so happy that you tuned in. Yes. We're making pork souvlaki if you just arrived. If you could smell this right now, guys. I'm really getting a lot of that mint. Yes. The lemon. And you'll see, too, the lemon is already starting to tenderize these pork cubes. You can see that the outside is getting a little bit lighter in color. That's doing some tenderizing action for us. Definitely. And Case Scoggin, again, just had a great point. Yeah. He said the great thing about these skewers is that they will fill a person up because these yes. are, this is a huge, this isn't like, you know, sometimes you need like eight skewers yeah. like it, because they're tiny. That's a meal. Oh, oh you that's just got meal. some garlic <laughs> on yourself. <laughs> I have garlic everywhere. But yeah, that's very true. Very good point, Scoggin. That's so true, guys. Um, okay, so yes, let us know what are some of the things that you guys are grateful for. Other people are weighing in here. Kathy says, Oh, she loves wax melts. Yes. Okay, those two. Yeah, I love Not those two. Not only do those smell incredible, I love that you can get so many different cool, like, thing. Kiki has a rooster one. Yes, in my kitchen, I have a um, chicken sort of theme going on, if you guys couldn't already guess that with Tom okay, and I the think, other birds. I think that's going to be the, that's the, it. the that's, last I, one. We're on the last one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's going to be the last one. You know what I want to look into? Um, a essential oil diffuser. I don't have one of those, but I hear those are really cool just for something Moon, more natural. Moon yeah. And everything, totally. I, I think so, too. I <laughs> Okay, MC's Kitchen at Outdoors is saying he's grateful for garlic. He's oh. tuned into the right place because it is really garlicky here. Very, Me too. It's garlic. funny that you say that. Last night when I, I was making some greens because I'm really feeling like just sauteed greens lately for some reason. Again, prednisone. If anybody's on prednisone, you get some weird cravings. <laughs> um, and I was thinking, how many dishes just start off with olive oil and garlic in a pan? Yes, that's like the beginning of everything good. Yes, it is. And we've Not got some meats though. You don't want to be making a cheesecake with all oil and garlic. <laughs> no. And we've got some some um, garlic left in the yeah, bowl just here. Mix that it all in there. I'm just gonna put on top here. Yeah. Okay, that's looking good. Do you want to hit us with one more thing that you're grateful for? Okay. Before um, we head out, we can let this sit for a yeah. little bit. Oh, wait, okay, Rhonda Scholar. I'm grateful that I get to do my first swim today since COVID. Okay, wow. Rhonda, do you swim? Please tell us, is this an indoor swim? Because I don't know if, if around here we're certainly not doing outdoor swims. Yeah, Rhonda, that is very cool. Okay, now, now my interest is peaked. Is this like synchronized swimming? Are you on some kind of a team? Cool. Because I'm, I'm going to see photograph, photographic evidence of Me this, Me too, Rhonda. Okay. That is very cool. Rhonda's West Coast, so maybe she could swim outside maybe at this oh, point. So I don't jealous. know what, what the weather is over there, but that sounds, I would be grateful for that too. Now I want to go swimming. <laughs> MC's Kitchen just said, I'm grateful. Oh, no, we already read that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Grateful, grateful for, for garlic. garlic. Yes, totally. Okay, no, Rhonda's saying indoor. She's saying indoor. She's saying okay. it's not outdoor swimming. I feel like it could be close for some people. Our friends in Cali definitely so, doing some indoor swimming. For sure. Uh, for sure. Swimming. They're doing some surfing probably. Okay. Okay, I can't see what Burly Boy's saying. Can you see that, Key? <laughs> no, I can't see that either. Okay. Um, and okay, so um, Kathy saying bye COVID. Yes, we all want to say bye to COVID. That is for sure. Hopefully it's, it's wrapping up soon. Yes. Um, okay, so my last thing that I'm grateful for that I wanted to share with you guys is everybody knows Tom, the, um, the, the turkey that lives on my farm. Recently, I picked up some, Tom some other hens. So that's yes. something I'm very grateful for because Tom's got some extra friends in the barn. You guys will get to see those two extra hens. They're heritage breeds. They're beautiful. All the names. Truffle and Muffle. <laughs> they look identical. They're so gorgeous. And hearing that out loud sounds hilarious. And I'm so grateful that there are farms that um, raise birds that are ready to lay because as busy as we are, I, as much as I love having baby chicks around and stuff. It's a lot of work. It's so much work. So I am very grateful that we were able to purchase those two hens. They are older. They're ready for Tom to have some fun with. Let's just leave that there. And, yep, and we, Tom, all, we all get it. 
and you guys will get to see those those two a little later on. Okay, yes, we will be showing them in the story. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to be showing them all, all spring, summer long. I can't wait for them to be out of the barn. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to, okay, Mary Lou is catching us at the end. Mary Lou, we're just about to go. Thank you for coming on, though. We're made, we made pork soup blocky, and now we're about to head out to the grill, get these on a screaming hot grill. Charity just got on. Okay, everybody's just coming on. Maybe we should make this later in the day. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned because we're going to be showing what this pork soup blocky looks like a little bit later. Probably yes. tomorrow. It's, it's already smelling so good. I cannot wait to hit, have these hit the grill. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, have a great Friday. Get ready. Barbecue for loose Friday coming your way very shortly. Yeah. Have a great weekend, guys. We will check in with you later. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.